weapons ban should not be repealed. And I'm not a cop, but I know that if Congress repeals the Brady Law and the assault weapon ban, it will be a crime. It will be a crime because people will die and families will be destroyed. Tomorrow, the House Crime Subcommittee holds a hearing on whether handgun ownership enhances self-defense and saves lives. Gun control advocates say the repeals will likely pass the House. They're pinning their hopes on sustaining a presidential veto. I'm Peter Kenyon in Washington. President Clinton says spending cuts that he's proposing are better than anything the Republicans are offering. He's addressed a joint session of the Florida legislature. He touted his crime bill and he praised Florida for its welfare changes. On Wall Street, the Dow Jones Industrial Average is down a fraction of a point at 4,160. Trading is heavy. This is NPR. I'm Bob Edwards, host of NPR's Morning Edition. There's a lot going on in the world while you're asleep. Fortunately, our reporters overseas are wide awake. So is the Morning Edition staff, which collects that information for the time when your ears are ready to hear it. You won't miss a thing. Just turn on the radio. We'll have you caught up before the coffee's ready on NPR's Morning Edition. Weekday mornings from 6 till 8 on WNYC FM 93.9. Orchestras. They're the first brass ensemble to win the Nomberg Chamber Music Award. They've been featured on television programs such as ABC's Good Morning America and the NBC Today Show, and radio programs such as St. Paul Sunday Morning and Around New York. Their latest recording for Telarc is called Passage, 138 BC to AD 1611. From that album, they're about to play for you the first Delphic hymn. Here are my guests in this first hour of Around New York The Empire Brass. That's the first Delphic hymn 
I believe its date is 138 BC, performed here by the Empire Brass. And Rolf Smedvig is the solo trumpet for the Empire Brass. Hi. Welcome back to Around Nice New York. to see you again, nice to Steve. Have you again. Great to be here. Nice to have you here. Uh, congratulations on your new recording. Uh, why don't you introduce the fellows in the, in the group first? The current lineup of the Empire Brass. Um, right over there is Eric Rusk. He plays the French horn. Hi, Eric. He's from Chicago, Illinois, and from Bermuda. One of the newer members, he's only been with the group a couple of years now. Um, he's a composer and a tuba player, Mr. Ken Amos, a British subject, <laughs> as well as an American citizen, I might add. And uh, Mr. Doug Wright on trombone from, of all places, Hopewell, Virginia. It took me about two or three years to figure out where <laughs> Doug was actually from. <laughs> and uh, Jeff Kerno, the other trumpet player, he likes to be referred to as the solo trumpet player. <laughs> and he's from Pennsylvania, somewhere in Pennsylvania. And, uh, Easton. Easton, that's Easton. right, Easton, Pennsylvania. And I am a poor little Scandinavian immigrant from Seattle, Washington, and I cannot pronounce my name. But I bet you can make a, Seattle, Washington, I bet you can make a good cup of coffee. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how's, uh, who's your percussionist? Oh, that's right. And this oh, is your special guest. This is a very special guest. This is Mr. Kurt Wertman from Los Angeles. He took the red eye last night just to be here with us today. And um, we'll have him do a demo later of, oh, of, of all the stuff he's got. Absolutely. You're going to hear a lot about him. This album is um, all based on modal music. Um, can we do a real brief discussion on what modal music is? It's, it's really the basis of all the uh, of Western music, isn't it? It really is. It's basically a notation system of numbers, a full step, half step. Um, modal system has to do with modes, and there's such modes as the Lydian mode which the difference between a Lydian mode, not to get too technical, but from an F major scale, for instance, the fourth would be a B flat, and in the Lydian mode, it would be a B natural. Mm -hmm. And it, it's got a very interesting harmonic sound, and you heard that in this first Delphic hymn, this modal system. You also heard in, incorporated in that this rhythmic structure, which is very important, a 5-8 feel, although all, none of this music had bar lines Right. Uh, the musician really had to determine where that beat was, whether it was one and two, one, two, or one, three, or whatever it might be. Play a, would you play an F major scale and then maybe play a Lydian, which is uh, sort of based on, if people could see a keyboard, they could, they could sort of see it really. This is F major. Emphasize the different note, Absolutely. the B natural. Absolutely, that's the important one. Yeah. That little B natural now, sneaking in there. Now you're about to play something of Hel Hel Hildegard von Bingen, if I can say it, uh, who was um, who's now gaining prominence once again. Absolutely, um, she was an incredible woman. Obviously, as a matter of fact, she's probably one of my favorite composers now. She was a visionary. She was an abbess, and she was summoned by probably the most, the greatest minds of her day. Um, there's wonderful spiritual content in her music. In this particular piece that we're going to play, the phrase structure is very interesting because no two phrases are alike. Although at the end of the piece, which is about three and a half minutes in length, one becomes very familiar with this certain harmonic structure. Mm -hmm. This is the spiritual dance of Hildegard von Bingen, and it's played for you by my guests today on Around New York, the Empire Brass.
The spiritual dance of Hildegard von Bingen is played by the Empire Brass Quintet. And Rolf Smidvig is the lead trumpeter. And these arrangements... One of the trumpeters. One of the trumpeters. Oh, pardon me. Solo trumpet. Yeah. yeah. Uh, these arrangements are of very old pieces. What, uh, I mean, what's the approximate date of that? Well, she lived in about 1050, so just about 1,000 years ago. So you're making contemporary arrangements. What, did you do this arrangement? I did, actually. And what, and what did you do? How did you make it? Well, it's actually very simple because the music is so uh, solid in foundation, so solid in structure. Again, it's based, the tonality is based on, on a mode, mm -hmm. which is very easy to harmonize. It's very easy to use um, a technique called the organum, which is adding a fourth or a fifth in unison. So the, the earliest, sort of the earliest harmony, Absolutely. wasn't it? Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. yeah. And composers at